So you need to perform a wet sieve analysis on your Rotap sieve shaker, but aren't sure how to install the testing kit or how to run the test? Don't worry, in this video we'll have you covered. We'll walk you through the steps needed to properly install the kit on your Rotap sieve shaker and get your test performed. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Candace from WS Tyler and I'll be your particle analysis guide today. The Rotap sieve shaker is widely known for producing accurate dry sieve analysis results. However, it can also be used to perform accurate wet sieving test results. Today we'll show you how to install a wet test sieve analysis kit onto your Rotap sieve shaker, as well as how to perform a wet sieve analysis so you can begin to yield sieving results that are accurate and repeatable. How to install the wet test sieving kit. Step one, remove standard issue sieve support plate and replace with the modified sieve support plate and bottom pan with the spout. Step two, the flow meter stand should be bolted to either the sieve shaker base or beside the shaker on the table. Step three, fasten the 90 degree angle connector to the top of the stand. Step four, secure the three prong clamp into the open slot on the 90 degree angle connector and position over the sieve stack. Step five, insert the flow meter assembly into the three prong clamp and tighten so that it is secure. The single tube should be facing the top for airflow. Step six, use the three inch piece of rubber tube and attach it to the lower outlet in the flow meter assembly. Step seven, the longest rubber tube attaches over the end of the higher outlet on the flow meter assembly. Step eight, place the sieve stack in the shaker on top of the bottom pan. Attach the outlet tube to the steel tube on the bottom pan. Step nine, Place the sieve cover with inlets on top of the sieve stack. Step 10. Place the modified sieve cover over the sieve cover inlets and secure stack in the shaker. Step 11. Attach the 12 inch tubes to the corresponding steel inlet tubes protruding through the modified cover. Step 12. Introduce water through the inlet rubber tube. Fill the flow meter assembly three quarters full. This level should be maintained through the duration of the test. Now, set the timer and begin operation. Assemble the wet test kit on a conventional RX29 Rotap. Deposit the dried sample material on the top test sieve. Slowly turn on the water source to ensure that no water leaks out the side of the sieves. Set the timer to your desired test time and turn on the Rotap. When the test is complete, allow the water to drip out of the drain pan. If you have any questions or concerns about performing a wet sieving analysis, you can call us at 1-800-321-6188, email us at info at wstyler.com, or you can fill out the form on our Contact Us page of our website. If you'd like to learn more about particle size analysis, we have a learning center full of content designed to help you become a particle size analysis expert. Just click the link in the video description. To keep up to date on all things WS Tyler, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it. Until next time, I'm Candace. Have a great day.